Hey guys, I'm at a local creek and I'm going to be doing some RC boat fishing. So this is a really fun way to fish and I got this boat for about 20 or 30 bucks off the internet. Right here I have about a two foot piece of a four pound monofilament fishing line tied to a hook with some worm on it. And uh, I got some styrofoam on my boat because the first time I tried this, uh, it actually, the boat tipped over and sank and I had to go in and go find it. So now this styrofoam will help it so it doesn't sink and uh, I should have some luck here so let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so I have a rooster tail on right now and I'm just driving it around and uh, the nice thing about this boat is I can pinpoint where I want to drive this. I can drive it right along the bank and it looks like I got something right there. Oh, and it looks like it might have got off, but I definitely had a bite right there. Um, right now I have a bobber, so I keep the lure away from the, and the line away from the motor. But uh, the rooster tail is just a couple feet below or behind that bobber right there. Oh my gosh, and there we go. Do you see that? Good fish on right now, dragging my boat. And I can't even move my boat right now. It has got my boat. It's a nice bass. Oh no. Can't even. Uh oh, might have got water in the boat. This is why I added the uh, styrofoam here. So he doesn't come off because I have no power left. Oh, it lets me reverse, but that's about it. And it's just taking my bait. Oh, no, it's going downstream. This is bad. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man, that's a nice bass. It's just dragging. My boat has no chance. It can't even go. Now. Howdy. A nice little creek bass. Definitely a lot funner than reeling him in on pole and line catching him with this RC boat. Let me go ahead and get this hook out. Got it right at the top of his mouth right here. There we go. And uh, as you can see, I just got this, a bobber, which I was trying to use to keep out of the propeller, but it kind of, when the fish took it, it took it all around the boat, so it kind of got cut in the propeller anyway. But then I had my rooster tail lure, which I was motoring around right behind that. So uh, here's a little bass I caught, nice little creek bass. I'm gonna go ahead and release Got something. Oh, another little bass right here, looks like. Let's see if I can bring him in. Might be a little bluegill actually. Last time the bass really took this boat. This is probably a bluegill, but we'll see. It's all a really tiny bass, but it's the boat's holding up. It's still going. Yeah, it looks like a little old bluegill, but uh I'll take it. And uh nice little fish with the lure. Mm. Lures with RC boats are really fun because you can just drive them around. So you get a hit, you don't have to do cast after cast, and you can drive where you normally wouldn't be able to cast. But yeah, nice little bluegill here. Go ahead and release him real quick. There we go, that's a good fight. I'm not going to do it. A little bit more back. Maybe because of the little bass or big cat fish is just in there. And now it's holding up the blue gills. Another little guy. 